Growing up in England, it's mainly grey, raining and cold. Um, so moving here, I really think it kind of did fuel my, my drive for, for painting. Just the, the amount of colour here, the greens, the, the tur turquoise of the ocean. The, if you go out on the reef, you see the tropical, colourful parrotfish and stuff like that. So the colours here are like, very inspiring for, for my art. Um, and I think that's probably one of the reasons that I started painting and using acrylic paint because I moved to Florida, everything's very colorful, I had to move from pencil, basically. <laughs> My name's Jack Kelly, I'm a marine life artist based in Isla Morada, Florida. So I've really been drawing, doing art my whole life. Um, my dad was a, an art teacher at high school, at a high school in England, um, so he kind of taught me everything I know, basically. Now that I work in marine science with marine animals, it just does inspire me every day. I work with the same individuals. I have about 20 animals that I work with of varying marine species. Um, seeing them every day, it's just becomes so easy to paint them because I just see their faces every day. But the colors, all the little details on them, they all have their own little personality. Some of them are very nice, some of them are kind of jerks, but um, I, I love them all. I'm just extremely passionate about the ocean and marine life and all my paintings are made with love for the ocean. If I'm at work, I'll see like one of the turtles at a specific angle or something like that and I think to myself that would look really good in the painting. I'll do a really rough sketch of it on my phone. So I use an app on there where you can like paint and I'll just do a really rough like what I'm picturing in my head so I don't forget it basically. Um, so I'll just do like blues for the ocean, a turtle, and just with my finger doing it. Um, and then I'll take that home I'll usually get a piece of paper and then draw it out what I drew on my phone um, with all the colors and stuff like that. And then I'll start doing it on canvas. I work with um, three different crocodilians at Theater of the Sea. Um, I work with two American alligators and an American crocodile as well. Um, now, part of my job is training these animals. They're all rescues, they all have some kind of medical condition where they wouldn't survive out in the wild. Um, so they do need to be trained in certain things like ultrasounds, blood draws, stuff like that. Um, one thing we do with our alligators is we have trained them to paint. They hold the paintbrush in their mouth, we hold a canvas up and we'll say paint and they'll just move their head around. They're a really messy painting on the canvas. Um, this is Piper's work. It's kind of abstract and messy, kind of like Pollock. Um, but what I started doing was painting portraits on top of these paintings. So um, I would get a photo of Piper from a perfect angle that I liked and then just kind of paint his portrait over his own painting. So it's kind of like a collaborative painting between me and the alligator. This is a commission of a uh, Western lowland gorilla and his name is Timmy. Um, so I was commissioned by his trainer to do a little portrait of him. This is his painting in the background. I guess those are his favorite colors, but yeah, she wanted uh, him eating a sweet potato. He's a very talented artist, kind of like Piper. It's just so different painting fur to what I usually paint, which is reptiles like turtles or fish. It's just a lot more intricate, but it's really fun. 